In this video, we're going to start a new Phoenix project. Uh, Phoenix 1.7 release candidate just came out. So this is the first video on creating a, a new project for the XR space. So first we're going to run this command, mix Phoenix new with the project name. And here are some options. Most of the defaults are fine, but I will also choose binary ID so that we can use a UUID for uh, the primary key instead of the default, which is auto incrementing integers. So let's just use dash dash binary dash ID. So here is my command. And this will create the folder structure. And after it does that, we will set up uh, um, Docker Compose for the Postgres database. Docker Compose Postgres. So let's copy a YAML file if we can find one. That'll do. So we'll copy that. And thirdly, we want to create a default um, uh, model. Not a default model, but a model. So let's look up in the Phoenix documentation. There's these different generators. So we can generate a live view, which will create the model, the context, the model, the database table, and the whole live view form so that you can create a space. So we'll need this command shortly. So I will pause the video. You can hear my fan, my computer fan getting very loud. I'll pause the video while it does this. Resuming the video, <coughs> it has done running that Phoenix new command. So now I will go into the directory. And um, I will get init this directory. So git init and git commit that this is the first commit empty phoenix project. Or let's git add. All right. And then I will paste that docker compose file. And I'll oops, paste it into a Docker Compose file. That, okay, so that's there. And we can start that up with Docker Compose up and we'll background it. Okay, so now that's running. So now we can run the mix um, ecto create or reset, which will run create and run the migrations. There won't be any migrations to run yet, but we can run that. And now we can, we should be able to fire up mix Phoenix server that will load up our server at uh, port 4000. So we should be able to visit this and see the default Phoenix Elixir uh, welcome screen. And no router found. Okay, it just took a while to compile. I'm on a slower machine and also running OBS screen recording, so it's taxing my computer. You can hear my fan in the background. Okay, so now let me also create that live view, which is this command. So we're going to set a context. So what is the context? Context can be the uh, worlds 
because this is about going into places and you're in a particular space. I used to call this spaces, but it's a little bit redundant where spaces and space. The database table will be spaces and then it should have a name, that's fine, name is string, and then what else? Maybe a description, which is text. And this is a good starting point. This context will be worlds. Hmm. Instead of worlds, I want to say it's something about the experience of getting into the space. So experience or navigation, you're navigating into a space. Or you're playing. It's the it's the entertainment part of it. Hmm. Let's leave it at worlds. I, don't really, I really don't have a better idea now, so let's just not think too long on it. We can always change it later. So it's created this, and the instructions are add this to the route and then call mix phoenix migrate but let's take a look at what code it's generated for us so if we open up vs code in the lib sorry in the priv directory there is a migration that it created for us so this is going to create the spaces table with a binary id name and description and need to find the router file so all the web related stuff is under the XR web in the router this was the default home page we'll just add the live view routes under the spaces uh, path save that and now we'll be able to uh, just run that server Oops. If we go to spaces, try again, spaces, what? Mixing surgeon to come for it. Oh, no. Oh, there's a pending migration. Mm hmm. Mix uh, ecto migrate creates the table. Now we'll start the server back up and refresh. There we go. So we can create a new space. Description isn't required, right? Oh, okay, maybe it is. And we can delete. Okay, so we have a basic model here. So in the next video, we'll see about maybe customizing the default header and maybe being able to enter into the space.